Hello everyone, my name is Rich Keener. I'm the village of Villa Park's village manager. It's my honor. And today's another one of our segments where we'll talk about the upcoming Committee of the Whole and board meeting um, for the mo uh, next Monday night. So what we'll talk about today is the Monday, July 10th Committee of the Whole and board meeting. And as I always mention, the Committee of the Whole starts out at 7.30, followed directly by the formal board meeting. So let's start. So for Monday, July 10th, the Committee of the Whole agenda is as follows. So number one is the call to order the roll call. Number two is the Pledge of Allegiance. Number three is amendments of the agenda. And folks, this would be amendments of the Committee of the Whole agenda. And that's the appropriate time for the President or Board of Trustees to modify, change, revise the Committee of the Whole. Number four is to consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving a contract with Globe Construction Inc. for the 2017 concrete flatwork program in an amount not to exceed $49,484. So staff proposes the replacement of substandard sidewalk at various locations throughout the village as part, as a part, I should say, of the 2017 concrete flatwork program. Globe Construction was awarded a contract for the 2016 concrete flatwork program based on competitive bidding process that included bids for 2017 and 2018, respectfully. Staff recommends approving a contract with Globe Construction for the 2017 concra concrete flat work program in an amount not to exceed $49,484 based on Globe's bid for 2017. There is a $50,000 amount budgeted for the sidewalk program in account number 64-502-10-299 in the Capital Projects Fund in fiscal year 2017-2018, which is our current fiscal year. So folks, number four is our 2017 50 50 sidewalk program and uh, our staff has named the 2017 concrete flat work program but it's our 50 50 sidewalk program for the village so this year uh, we budgeted forty nine thousand four hundred and eighty four dollars for the program so number five for the committee of the whole for monday night is to consider a resolution of the village of villa park dupage county illinois authorizing the purchase of four overhead garage doors for installation at station 81 in the amount of $49,588. The overhead garage doors at fire station 81 were installed when the building was built in 1976. Over the past 10 years, repair costs have exceeded $27,000. Bid proposals were received from three garage door companies and the lowest qualified bid was received from Allied Door Inc. of Addison. Staff is recommending that the bid for the replacement of the four overhead garage doors at Fire Station 81 be awarded to Allied Door Inc. in the amount of $49,588. Funds have been allocated for this purchase and installation in the fiscal year 17 2018 budget from account number 67. 5020401. And folks, if you've driven by Fire Station 81, you've noticed that I'm sure that these garage doors are huge and full of glass and very heavy. And so with the approval of Monday night, all four of these doors will be replaced with smaller amounts of glass, more energy efficient, and uh, much more efficient doors than what we have on there and safer. So moving on to number six for the Committee of the Whole for Monday night is to consider an ordinance authorizing and providing for the issue, and this is the issue of general obligation alternate bonds. And I would say the amount, but it's yet to be determined because on Monday, July 10th, uh, we will sell the bonds and then we'll be able to put the amount in the uh, space, which will be on uh, blank at the uh, moment. So anyway, it's uh, general obligation 
uh, alternate bond sales tax alternate revenue source series 2017B of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois for the purpose of financing certain public infrastructure projects including but not limited to stormwater drainage improvements in connection with the Jackson Pond Improvement Project and a portion of the Michigan Avenue Improvement Project, Madison Street to Jackson Street within the village, prescribing the details of said bonds providing for the imposition of taxes sufficient to pay the same and for the collection, segregation, and application of certain village revenues to pay said bonds. This matter has been discussed on a number of previous occasions. This ordinance will be the final required board action on the first tranche of stormwater alternate revenue bonds to be used for the Jackson Pond and related projects. Pricing for the bonds will occur on Monday, July 10th based upon market conditions. If the market provides fair and favorable rates as expected, and there is no reason to think that it will not, we will ask the board to approve a version of the attached ordinance that will be populated with priced bond information. Spear Financial, our financial advisor, will be able to advise if the rates and structure are in the village's best interest. The bonds are expected to close in about three weeks. So folks, these are the first tranche, the first issuance for the stormwater drainage improvements in conjunction with Jackson Pond and with the uh, South Michigan Madison Street to Jackson Street. So we'll be moving forward with those improvements. Number seven for the Committee of the Whole is to consider an ordinance <coughs> of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, providing for the issuance of, again, a bonds, and the bond amount is yet to be determined, General Obligation Library Bonds, Series 2017C of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, the proceeds of which will be used for remodeling, improving, and building in addition to the existing Villa Park Library building, furnishing equipment, and acquiring library materials and storage facilities, therefore, and paying expenses incidental thereto and providing for the levy and collection of a direct annual tax for the payment of the principal of and interest on said bonds. So again, this matter has been discussed on numerous or a number of previous occasions. This ordinance will be the final required board action on the first tranche of library general obligation bonds to be used for the referendum approved library addition and improvement project. Pricing for the bonds will occur on Monday, July 10th, based on marketing conditions. If the market provides fair and favorable rates, we will ask the Village Board to approve a version of the attached ordinance that will be populated with price to bond information. Spear Financial, our financial advisor, will be able to advise if the rates and structure are in the best of the Village's uh, best interest. The bonds are expected to close in about three weeks. So folks, number seven is dealing with the issuance of bonds for the library project, which was approved via referendum. So moving on to number eight for the Committee of the Whole for Monday night, July 10th, is to convene to the formal agenda. So folks, we, we have a light agenda for Monday, but still, we've got some interesting items. So let's move on to the formal agenda for Monday, July 10th. So number one is public comments on agenda items. And folks, that's the appropriate time for anyone in the audience to come to the podium, be recognized by President Boltheis, and make comments on the agenda items. Number two is amendments of the agenda. Folks, that's the appropriate time for the President or Board of Trustees to amend the formal board agenda. Number three is the consent agenda. And as I mentioned, uh, things proceed from the Committee of the Whole to the consent if they're non-controversial, and if they're controversial or require a separate vote, we'll put those on for separate votes after the consent. So number three is the consent agenda. So let's start with A is the bill listing for the weeks of June 26th and July 3rd, 2017 for a total amount of $2,062,890.39. 
B, minutes from the Village Committee of the Whole meeting for June 26, 2017. C, minutes from the Village Formal Board meeting for June 26, 2017. D, is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving a contract with Globe Construction, Inc., for the 2017 Concrete Flat Work Program in an amount not to exceed $49,484. And folks, as I mentioned previously, this is our 50-50 sidewalk program for 2017. So staff proposes the replacement of substandard sidewalk at various locations throughout the village as part of the 2017 Concrete Flat Work Program. Globe Construction was awarded a contract for the 2016 Concrete Flat Work Program based on a competitive joint bidding process that also included bids for 2017 and 2018 respectively. Staff recommends approving a contract with Globe Construction for the 2017 Concrete Flat Work Program in an amount not to exceed $49,484 based on Globe's bid for 2017. There is $50,000 budgeted for the sidewalk program in account number 64 502-10-299 in the Capital Projects Fund in fiscal year 2017-2018, which is this fiscal year. So moving on to E for the consent agenda for Monday night is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing the purchase of four overhead garage doors for installation at Fire Station 81 in the amount of $49,588. The overhead garage doors at Fire Station 81 were installed when the building was built in 1976. Over the past 10 years, repair costs have exceeded $27,000. Bid proposals were received from three garage door companies, and the lowest qualified bid was received from Allied Door, Inc. of Addison, Illinois. Staff is recommending that the bid for the replacement of four overhead garage doors at Fire Station 81 be awarded to Allied Door, Inc. in the amount of $49,588. Funds have been allocated for this purchase in the fiscal year 2017-18 budget from account number 67 401 So folks, just as I described, the overhead garage doors at Fire Station 81 will be replaced and improved if this is approved uh, on Monday night. So moving on to F for the consent agenda for Monday night is an ordinance approving and providing for the issue of uh, yet to be determined bonds, uh, general obligation alternate bonds, sales tax alternate revenue source, series 2017B of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois for the purpose of financing certain public infrastructure projects including but not limited to stormwater drainage improvements in connection with the Jackson Pond Improvement Project and a portion of the Michigan Avenue Improvement Project Madison Street to Jackson Street within the village. Prescribing the details of said bonds providing for the imposition of taxes sufficient to pay the same and for the collection segregation and application of certain village revenues to pay said bonds. This matter has been discussed on a number of previous occasions. This ordinance will be the final required board action on the first tranche of stormwater alternate revenue bonds to be used for the Jackson Pond and related projects. Pricing for the bonds will occur on Monday, July 10th based on market conditions. If the market provides fair and favorable rates as expected, we will ask the Village Board to approve a version of the attached ordinance. <clears throat> Spear Financial, our financial advisor, will be able to advise if the rates and structure are in the village's best interest. The bonds are expected to close in about three weeks. So folks, we look forward to starting these important projects, the Jackson Pond Improvement Project and in South Michigan with Madison Street to Jackson improvements. G for the Consent Agenda Monday night is an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park providing for the issuance, again, of bonds, sale of bonds, in an amount yet to be determined, uh, Jebelot General Obligation Library Bonds Series 2017C 
of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, the proceeds of which will be used for remodeling, improving, and building in addition to the existing Villa Park Library building. Furnishing equipment and acquiring library materials and storage facilities thereof and paying expenses incidental thereto and providing for the levy and collection of a direct annual tax for the payment of the principal of and interest on said bonds. This matter again has been discussed on a number of previous occasions. This ordinance is the final required board action on the first tranche of library general obligation bonds to be used for the referendum approved library addition and improvement project. Pricing for the bonds will occur on Monday, July 10th based on market conditions. If the market provides fair and favorable rates, we will ask the Village Board to approve a version of the attached ordinance that will be populated with priced bond information. Spear Financial, our financial advisor, will be able to advise if the rates and structure are in the Village's best interest. These bonds are expected to close in about three weeks. So folks, again, that's another very important project, the library expansion and remodeling. And uh, G is the uh, sale of the bonds for that project. So that is the consent agenda for Monday night, A through G. So moving on to number four, which is a first and final reading of an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, granting a variation to allow the construction of a new single family structure and the required side yard setback at 147 West Belden Avenue. The petitioner is seeking consideration of a variance request to construct a new single family structure located at 147 West Belden Avenue, approximately three feet into the required exterior side yard, which is a corner front yard, a setback. At the public hearing on June 15, 2017, no one spoke in, in exact opposition to the request and the Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously recommended approval of the request. So folks, this is another great project for the village, the construction of a new single family home. So moving on to number five for the formal board agenda for Monday, July 10th is the first and final reading of an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, granting a variance to allow a second garage on the same zoning lot for property located at 206 South Wisconsin Avenue. So the petitioner is seeking consideration of a variance request to allow a detached garage on the same zoning lot that will have an attached garage at 206 South Wisconsin. The subject property includes an unbuildable parcel with no public frontage that was platted long before incorporation into the village. At the public hearing on June 15, 2017, the Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously recommended approval. So folks, that's another uh, great project for the village, uh, the construction of an unattached garage. So moving on to number six for the formal board meeting for Monday night is public comments on non-agenda items. So folks, that's the appropriate time for anyone in the audience to approach the podium and be recognized by the village president and to address the village board and staff with comments that are not related to agenda items. Number seven is the village clerk's report. Number eight is the village trustee's report. Number nine is the village president's report. Number 10 is the village manager's report. Number 11 is the village attorney's report. And number 12 is adjournment. So folks, I, I hope you have time to tune in and um, maybe come and watch the meeting or if you have questions, come and ask the questions. So we have plenty of things happening within the community. It's the, the month of July has started. So we have the Kiwanis concerts in the park at on Wednesday nights now, starting at about 6.30, and the food starts at about 6 o'clock to say hello. So please come Wednesday nights to the Prairie Path by the Gazebo and listen to the concerts. And then in August, we'll have Thursday night concerts at the Cortese Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, the stage will be set up again next to the depot. So that's Thursday nights, about 6.30 in the evening. We still have our 
Sunday afternoon car shows at the Cortese Veterans Memorial Park. So plenty of things happening, and I hope you're getting outside and enjoying the uh, Illinois Prairie Path or the Great Western. It's just beautiful this time of year. So again, my name is Rich Keener. I'm the village manager for the Village of Villa Park. Hope to see you soon. Take care.